Ready, Matt? Wait a second. All right. Do you remember when you first learned the Cartesian coordinates? You talked about quadrants. You remember you said to like memorize these, and you're like, oh my god, why am I ever learning this? It's so stupid. But when am I ever going to use this, right? Quadrants. Oh. Guess what? They're coming back. All right. It's coming back into style. So, Maria. Just I thought that movie would have like no. You want how bad you want it in tennis? No. No. <laughs> Be what? Okay. Um, <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna say, all right, if this angle determine what uh, what quadrant is in. So the first thing we need to do is we need to remember we are dealing with unit circles in chapter four. All right. Good circle. Thank you. And then after this, now we need to remember a couple things. We need to remember what our initial side is. So that's going to be our initial side unless something otherwise is stated. But that's very always where we're going to start. We need to remember that going this way is positive and going this way is negative. All right. Um, and then we also need to remember, do you guys remember when I was talking about radians? That going halfway around a circle was equal to pi. You guys remember that? Yeah. Kind of. Remember, I took a radian. I did one radian, two radians, three radians, and there was that little extra, so it was equal to pi. So therefore, halfway around a circle is equal to pi. All right. So now, what they're asking is, well, what quadrant would negative three three pi over twelve be in? Okay. Well, that's telling me first you go in the negative direction. Then it's also telling me, well, what is 3 twelfths? So here's what I'm going to do. When you guys are given something like this, whenever you're given a denominator, here's what I'd like you to do. I would like you to manipulate this into using with the same denominators. Remember when you guys added fractions? When I said, like, what's uh, 1 half plus 1 fifth, you had to get the same denominators, right? You had to get them to be the same denominator, which common denominator would be 10. Well, here I have pi, and here, like, I'm dealing with an angle. Well, let's both make them have the same denominators. 12 over 12 is still 1 pi, right? So I didn't change the answer. This is still pi. But the reason why I'm going to do this is just so, us, so we can visually see where this angle would be. So if this is 0, all right, so I'm going 0 to 12 pi. Halfway there would be 6 pi over 12. And I'm sorry, this is going in the negative direction because remember we're going we're going negative so therefore if this is negative 6 pi over 12 and this is negative 12 pi over 12 where would negative 3 pi be it's gonna be like halfway in there right yeah so you can say the angle would be like right here yes question where did you get the negative 6 pi over 12 okay if this is negative you get you do understand that this is 12 over 12 pi yes. well all right so if here's 0 to 12 Halfway would be six. six. Wait, why is that twelve? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Can I erase this? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. So you guys look oh. at if I count this, one pi over twelve, two pi over twelve, three pi over twelve, four pi over twelve, um, five pi over twelve, six pi over twelve. You guys see, if I break, if I broke, if I segmented this circle into twelfths, this would be six, halfway there would be six pi over twelve. Yes? But aren't you going that way, so wouldn't it be positive? Um, well, it's negative, so I'm going in the neg down direction. Now, negative is always going to be clockwise. So why is it a negative twelve? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, I made, I made it twelve. I mean, it's, it's really the negative. It's still a, remember, negative is just going to tell us what direction we're going in. All right. Okay? Um, but this still is, so then if I wanted to do this again, Okay. So I know it's not equal things, but you guys see how I segmented this in twelfths? <coughs> okay, so therefore, if I go into three twelfths, it would be one, two, three, which would be right there. So that's my angle. So then obviously, what quadrant is that in? Four. Four. So the quadrant is still the same even if you go backwards? Okay. Yep. All right. So 